Hello everyone, I'm Mark Dorenkamp with Managing for Profit on Brownfield, a content partnership with John Deere. I'm here with Bergen Nelson, go-to-market manager for harvesting equipment for John Deere. Bergen, a very exciting display at Commodity Classic in Houston. This combine is getting a lot of attention. Tell us about the new uh, S series. Yeah, hey Mark, we're here, like you said, at Commodity Classic in Houston launching our new S7 combine. With the new S7, we're bringing four models, the S7 600, 700, 800, and 900. And these machines are bringing Im improved productivity for our customer base through new harvesting automation technology. Also, we are bringing new engines to the lineup, which are going to reduce their overall fuel cost by almost 10%. Let's start with the engine options and what farmers can choose from. Yeah, so on the S7 600 and S7 700, we're bringing our new Gen 2 9 liter to those machines. And then on the S7-800 and the S7-900, we're bringing the 13.6 liter over to those machines. When we went to develop this new S7 combine, we truly did look to its big brother, X9, and that 13.6 is on the X9. So we're bringing a lot of those features over to the S7. You mentioned automation. For some farmers, they think that's great, and others think I'm a little bit afraid, but what are the features with automation and, and how is it going to help a farmer get the job done? Yeah, absolutely, great question. So on the new S7 and X9 combines, we're bringing predictive ground speed automation to the market, market exclusive. And this technology is using two stereo cameras on the front of the cab. And those cameras look out 28 feet in front of the cutter bar and they're measuring crop height and crop density. We're also taking a satellite imagery map and bringing that into the combine through our John Deere operations center and overlaying that with the camera image. And that's gonna allow us to proactively speed up and slow down the combine. And what that ultimately means is we're going to keep that machine full throughout the entire day as we're going through very varying yielding crops in the field and it's increasing our productivity within these machines up to 20 percent yeah farmers hate to see grain loss and this is going to just help with that efficiency yeah, that's true and speaking of grain loss we're bringing a new grain loss system to the s7 combine that is similar to what is on x9 and it'll be three times more accurate than what our previous s series model was so in conjunction with the new harvesting technology and the new grain loss sensing, our producers are really gonna be excited about what is in store for the new S7 combine. And we have a combine here right behind us. People can see it as far as what's on the outside or even inside that we haven't talked about yet. What else is there? Yeah, so like I mentioned, we looked to X9, it's Big Brother, when redesigning this machine. We're bringing over new grain handling features. And when I talk about grain handling, I'm talking about cross auger shutoffs. And so when that grain tank is getting emptied and the customer turns that system off, the augers within the tank will stop and then it'll allow the unloading auger to empty out so we're not carrying around that extra weight. We're also bringing an adjustable spout on the machine and so our customers can control that from within the cab on reprogrammable buttons on the hydro handle. And speaking of a new cab, we're bringing a new cab to this machine too, which is going to offer our customers increased comfort and visibility, offer more cup holders, heat to the feet, a new G5 display, integrated 7500, a seat with air conditioning and heat and massaging. So there's a lot of new features in that cab. They're gonna be awfully comfortable in there as they're hot harvesting throughout the day. S7 available this year? S7 will be around in model year 25. Anything else about this combine that we haven't talked about yet, Bergen? I would just like to reinforce the new S7 is bringing a 10% improvement to fuel efficiency for the customers that will be operating these machines. And then with harvesting automation technology, it's gonna bring up to a 20% productivity increase. From Commodity Classic in Houston, I'm Mark Dorenkamp with Managing for Profit on Brownfield, a content partnership with John Deere.